Hey yo everybody, Haku here with my review of One Piece Manga Chapter 845. And uh, sorry for the way I look, if I look a complete mess or anything, I just got out of the shower. Um, I also just shaved off the illusion that I don't look terribly. Um, so uh, yeah, let's talk about this actual chapter. And this is one of the best chapters for me for One Piece as a whole, I feel. I don't know, I feel like this is one of the ones that you can come back to, like I said last week, and just see it as sort of a more iconic chapter. And I felt like the entire time I was reading, I keep thinking, this would look good if they do it right in the anime. So this could end up being one of those iconic anime episodes. Uh, just the way it's all set up. It's like set up perfectly to be one. Um, for the arc, this is for sure my second favorite of the arc. I cannot think of any I like better than this one other than last week's. And even then, last week's and this one, it's a close competition between the two. I really, really enjoy both. Last week's just felt more personal between Luffy and Sanji to me, so I think that's why I like that one a little bit more, but this was so good. Um, so yeah, getting into actually talking about the contents of it, uh, first the cover. We have a sexy Nami cover and hello yes, thank you very much Oda. Um, then uh, Luffy is uh, staying for Sanji and he doesn't really care about that they're in enemy territories or anything. He's staying, he's keeping his promise. So the storm starts to kick up from uh, Zeus and Prometheus around Whole Cake. And, uh, of course, they are the, clou the cloud and sun that we saw with Big Mom before. Um, so we see that the army is coming to a through to go to Luffy to avenge Cracker. Um, Sanji and his siblings see them. And uh, the army has, like, a lot of really cool characters. We see Bobbin again, finally. We have uh, Mont Dor, who um, I, I'm liking already. I think it's interesting that out of all the siblings there, because I think Opera and whatever the chick, the butter chick's name was, they were with him as well, but they weren't named. So uh, Mont Dor got some hype there. And Demon Lady Amont. Hello, Demon Lady Amont. If she's the chick with the big hat and the sword, I love that design. So I really hope we get some more Demon Lady Amont in my life. Um, so uh, Sanji actually does look very worried about Luffy's well-being. Um, like, rightly so. But, um, then it starts to rain. Mizuame, a type of candy, but it's also a pun. Play on words. Mizu, rain, or Mizu water, ame, rain. Uh, so it starts to rain. Mizuame. And it's just such a good somber tone with the rain and then just Luffy laying on the ground. Nami with the rain running down her face. That was, yeah, this, this entire chapter, I feel like the tone and the setting were both very, very strong. So we see some of Big Mom's kids, notably Anana, who, um, very, I find her very adorable and psychotic at the same time. I just, I don't know why. I find her, like, the cutest thing. Um, so the Vinsmokes then have a meal with Big Mom and Pudding, and, uh, the talking food is really creepy to me. I, I just, I would, I would not be able to. It's just really creepy to me. I, I do not like... Um, I mean, of course, I like it in the story of the show. I w I'm just saying, if I was in Sanji's situation, I couldn't do it. Could not. Um, so putting past a Sanji a note, actually, to uh, meet her privately later. Of course, I guess I'll have to bring up when um, Judge did his thing where he's like, you know, the, uh, the, like, the well-being of our children come first or whatever. And I don't know. I'm still not convinced. I feel like the Jerma are, like, bad guys. But I'm not quite yet sure that they are THE bad guys, you know? I feel like they're not good people, but I think they may actually have a good reason and maybe they're betraying Big Mom. I don't know, I just, I feel like they are built to be so hated right now and of course I am with that too. They are like so hateable. I want to see them get their faces kicked in. But the thing is, like, they're built to be so hateable that it makes me skeptical. It makes me like, if we're supposed to hate them so much, is Oda trying to pull something where they're going to go, like, good guy all along on us somehow? So, uh, yeah, I am still not completely, uh, completely sure I've read the Jerma that well. Um, then we have, uh, Nami begging Luffy to move as the army is starting to come towards them again. Very, very good setting. Luffy stands his ground, of course. We weren't expecting him to run. Uh, so Pudding apologizes and later when they're alone and warns Sanji about these cuffs that Big Mom puts on people that seem like they'll resist a wedding. And Sanji, of course, is like, well, too late, fam. <laughs> and, uh, then 
since it's too late and all this, Sanji actually takes off his mask in front of Pudding, showing her his face all beat in from his brothers. Um, and Sanji really gives a great speech. I like Sanji's speech a lot of how my adventure has to end here. Like, that was such a strong speech. And I've seen, like, I looked at a couple other people's reviews just looking at it, and most of them didn't really uh, bring it up very much, but I thought Sanji's speech was a lot stronger than Pudding's. I just, it was so somber and sad and showed how Sanji's been broken down and defeated by all this, and that is just such good character work, and I can't wait to see Sanji rise up and uh, beat it again. Um, okay, that, that, <laughs> that didn't come out right, but you guys, you, you get what I mean, I think. So um, then Pudding's speech is juxtaposed against Nami and Luffy fighting, and really that is possibly the best part of the chapter to me because I'm, I'm a sucker for that kind of stuff. Juxtaposing the speech with the fighting against that army and stuff, mm, that is what I live for in writing. Um, so uh, then lastly, Sanji embraces Pudding and decides to get married seemingly. Um, and that's where we leave off and we have a break next week and everything. Oda grabbing us by the balls and uh, keeping us waiting for two weeks. Uh, the setting for this, like I said, great. I love how the storm worked in two different ways really well. It worked to set sort of this somber, raining, sad tone over, like this hopeless tone over the fight with Luffy and Nami and the army coming towards them. And yet it also gave this sort of... Um, this other feeling where Pudding and Sanji were in the room and we see the thunder clapping or lightning flashing outside of the um, window and it just gave this sort of cozy contained feeling to that scene and it just I love how Oda set it up so that one set of weather could have two different feelings for two different scenes but play into both scenes so well so I loved that um, just the storm in the setting uh, the wait for what's going on right now is nice. It feels like there's actual danger, there's actual threat, there's an actual situation that we're like, okay, we hope they can get out of it, but I'm not sure how they're going to at this point, which is good because a lot of shonen can't do wait very well. Um, the relationship and development parts have been very strong the past two chapters, and last chapter with this point kind of uh, leads into this one where just the relationships with Luffy, Nami, Sanji, and Pudding as well now, just the development of them is very, very nice. Uh, and the army looked awesome. I just, I gotta throw that in there as well. Um, me personally, I know there are probably going to be some of you that disagree. I am still not convinced Pudding's a good guy. Like I said in the live reaction, I would be more surprised if she's a good guy than if she's a bad guy. Like, I just, I cannot trust her right now. I do not trust Pudding. I think she's manipulative. I think she's probably evil. I think she may even be like, I don't know, I'm a little bit psychopathic. I just, I do not trust Pudding whatsoever. I just, I can't trust her right now. It doesn't make sense, because like, Sanji can't fall in love with her. He can't take her with him. I just, that, it doesn't seem to fit the story that well. I just, I can't see any other outcome for her other than her just being this evil, spoiled brat princess. I just, I cannot think of any other outcome, possibly. Um, then, uh, there's like, the best part of this, like I said, the juxtaposition. I really, really liked that, and yeah, like I said, I'm a sucker for that kind of thing. Uh, that, like, no matter what kind of chapter with the, like, what kind of chapter this was, with that added in, that kind of would have hit me either way. <laughs> um, so yeah, this one, obviously, if it's one of the better chapters in One Piece, one of the more memorable chapters in One Piece as a whole, I think it'll be, um, plus the second best chapter of this arc, in my opinion, I've, I've definitely got to give it, uh, ten, ten, uh, talking foods out of 10. I, that was really bad. Um, but yeah, 10 out of 10. I can't give it anything other than a perfect score when it was that freaking good. I couldn't justify giving it anything other than a perfect score. Um, yeah, because I can't, even right now I was like, okay, quick, think of some flaws. And I, I mean, everything can be better. Nothing's perfect, but I can't think of any particular flaws off the top of my head. So anyway, 10 out of 10. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Like if you did like the video, comment down there. Tell me what you thought of this chapter and what you thought of my thoughts on it. I will see you in two weeks, I guess. But uh, until then, I will have the anime episode review up when the anime comes out this weekend. So I mean, yeah, 
there's still going to be one, one Piece stuff here. There's still going to be other stuff here. So subscribe for any of that and more because I cover the anime and manga for One Piece and a bunch of other anime and manga and other things as well, like Pokemon, Walking Dead, blah, 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 ton of stuff. Um, and yeah, follow on Twitter if you want, and I'll try to keep you updated there and stuff for the channel. That's it, so thank you once again for watching, and I'll see you all next time.